So, good evening, everybody. Good evening. I'm Rocky Nishino, a trainer and a facilitator of this, this training course, seminar. Three elements, three factors of presentation skills based on this core concept. Content, structure, delivery. Right. So first of all, I will explain what these elements are. So what is content? What is content? The skills or techniques how to make the body of your presentation more appealing, more attractive, or more persuasive. In other words, how to develop your body or presentation more persuasively. That's content. And I'll explain a little bit more detail later. And then structure. In other words, organization. It is actually speaking, the definition is that the, the skills to may make your scenario effectively. Organization, scenario making, like that kind of thing. And delivery. It's very simple. Delivery, how to speak, how to behave. Like eye contact, smile, or projecting your voice, or like that. So, start with the definition of content. What is content? The ways of making body of presentations and techniques of development and elaborations to make it look more appealing and persuasive. I already dis uh, uh, explained this. I always all the time. You need to start with this, 100%. Making main message first. Making main message first. So what is main message? The message which you want to present most strongly in your presentation. In other words, main idea, controlling idea, or the message you want to insist most strongly. This is, in a sense, this is the most important part in your presentation. Message matters. Too ambiguous, too vague. It's not good, of course. So if you use elaborating techniques, so which I'm going to introduce today, if you use these techniques, you can make your presentation more persuasive or attractive. And today, I'd like to focus on important three techniques. Look at that. Number one, cases and examples. Number two, data. Number three, comparison. comparison. First, cases and examples, or episodes in a sense. Episodes, examples. Now they are divided into two parts in here. First, cases which only you know. And number two, publicized cases. The so first one, cases which only you know. This is also divided into two parts. So first, your own story, your success story, failure story, your experience, your own experiences. And this number one has two elements, I already said it. And the second one is other person's cases. So I'll give, I'll give you one example. So I'll, I'd like to make sure where we are. The three elements are presentation skills. We just covered content. From now on, I'd like to mention structure. structure. In other words, organization, scenario making, like that. And after that, organized by sandwich format. We call it sandwich format. And it is very simple, but very useful. You can handle very easily and effectively. So I will introduce sandwich format. Very simple. It consists of three parts. Introduction, body, conclusion. Very simple. And I think some of you already know this, I think. So first of all, I like to explain the roles, functions, or structures on each part. And after that, I will explain in detail. First, introduction. Introduction has two roles and functions. Roles and functions. Number one, 
to show big picture, to show the whole picture. In other words, imprint the important points to the audience's mind. That's number one. Number two, motivate the audience to listen more carefully or attentively. Okay? Grab the attention from that, in other words. Body part, I'll explain the structure in here. First, you need to put main message, the main message here. Just after the small introduction, you need to put main message here, not in the end. Don't do that. Japanese people tend to do that. The, con the, the really, really important main message is at the end. No, it's too late. It's not good. So you need to put here. And after that, three points and detailed explanations. Conclusion part, it has two roles and functions too. Then detail, then detail. So, of course you construct, you build up those important, uh, this important part. Of course you need to add some more detail explanations in each part, of course. And in doing so, if you follow the rule of prelap, you can make your presentation more logically or clearly. So what is PLEP? What is PLEP? Point logic, logic example point. We call it acronym. Point logic example point. Let's go on to number uh, one by one. First, point. Uh, it's quite similar, almost same as reading, reading page title. Because page title shows the most important part of the page in most of the cases of the part. Most important point has to be in the page title. So that's why almost same as reading page title. So you need to show the point very shortly, period. And after that, you will add logical explanations. And this has to be maybe the longest, I think. It, de it depends on the content you, you are going to talk, of course. But basically, this part should be a little bit uh, long. And if you have this kind of uh, logical flow, you can make a presentation very persuasive, like this. Problem, sol solution, benefit, and sense. Take the, the left one, like this. I think on your daily basis, in your daily life, you have these kind of problems. You know, this kind of problem, that kind of problem. I like that. You, 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 need to, you need to mention, of course. But if you use this product, especially this function like this, you can solve the problem like this. Blah, blah, blah. You know, like that. And after that, if you add example, you can make your presentation more understandable. Like I did, for example. Logic was very simple at the time. Everybody can be a great speaker if you make a lot of efforts like this. And this is quite simple because you can understand this, this concept quite intuitively from your gut feeling, I think. It's not so difficult to understand. But of course, it's sometimes difficult to do it. So what is delivery? All the time start with the definition. Techniques of expressing to make your presentation more impressive and attractive. So number two, speed, speaking speed, I mean. There are merits of speaking fast, quickly, and the merits of speaking quickly. In other words, pros and cons to speak fast. First, pros, merits, benefits. Audience understand what is said better because of the good rhythm and tempo. Especially in English, rhythm and tempo is very important. You know, English ha has more, more, I mean, bigger importance in rhythm and tempo compared with Japanese language. So if you, you know, speak very, very slowly, it's difficult to catch up with what you said, to be honest. Rhythm is very important. However, of course, the merits of speaking fast. So you will have fewer pauses and less change of tone of voice. 
Like machine gun talk. Blah, 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 you know, the audience cannot catch up with you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. But you know, you go too far. So don't do that. Of course, not too slow, not too fast. Right? Easy to say, but difficult to do, of course. And pronunciation, uh, and one more thing, I'm sorry. Another demerit is unclear pronunciation.